Welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter uh, 6.4, Trigonometry in Two Dimensions. This is a great B video, so I hope you enjoy it, and let's start. So today we're going to revisit some trigonometry, and those are basic uh, right angle trigonometry, so bring your calculator with you. And we are going to prove that sine cosine tangent actually works. So yeah, let's start. So you might ask, how do we prove that sine cosine tangent is true? Well, first of all, you have to remember the rule. Suck your toe. No. Suck a toe. Never mind. Uh, that's a joke that someone made up while I uh, was young and when I started learning trigonometry and that is uh, quite a ridiculous joke really. So yeah, let's prove that when we use these rules, theta will be uh, the same number every single time. So let's see. So we know that um, we have to know the three letters O, H, and A means. So these are what they mean. O is opposite, A is adjacent, H is hypotenuse, the longest uh, side, or the op one opposite the right angle. So um, let's see. Sine theta. Sine theta will be opposite, which when you drag on, we'll find it's 4 and hypotenuse and hypotenuse is the longest one which is 5 so we know that sine is equal to 4 over 5 or 4 divided by 5 I'm going to use this notation for trigonometry for simplicity and now let's get to cosine adjacent over hypotenuse so adjacent is the one uh, not uh, the hypotenuse but next to it so if it's not the side on hypotenuse it's going to be the other side which is 3 so that is adjacent and this is hypotenuse and that gets us cosine theta equals 3 over 5 what about tangent? tangent is op opposite over adjacent so it's 4 over 3, naturally. So now we have three functions. And if you click into your calculator and do um, tangent, or well, sine, cosine, tangent to the power negative 1, or what we call arc, uh, sine, cosine, tangent, it looks like this sine to power of negative 1 then bracket it's probably something like that so uh, this is not 5 okay um, yeah I can write with a mouse so what this is is um, the way of reversing the function um, in chapter like earlier chapters we've been through um, functions and this is the opposite function or reverse function of sine so this will get you the angle from the sides that you provide them with so that is arc sine and there's a corresponding arc cosine and arc tangent so yeah um, if you did um, use the those three um, functions then uh, you should get that theta is equal to 53.1 for every single result and that value will be identical and this is rounded to three significant figures and that is my recommended way of uh, rounding things I recommend three significant figures 
always. And so yeah, um, let's go on to the next part. So having proven that sine cosine tangent works, now we can use those to uh, our use to abuse it uh, for our own benefit. So let's find A and B. Now we know that we uh, have an angle, we have two missing sides, and we have one known side. And fortunately and conveniently, it is the hypotenuse, which is actually, um, well, really convenient. Because when you do a equation by simply saying sine 72 will equal to a over 10, or a divided by 10, because opposite and hypotenuse, I guess I'm not going to repeat that <laughs> again because that is just dull. Um, you'll find that you can actually multiply both sides by 10 to get um, a equals 10 sine 72, which is much, well, it looks, looks much better than a fraction uh, in an equation. So yeah, type that onto the calculator word by word or number by number, you should get a equal 9.51, again, three significant figures. And same applies to cosine, because cos when you do cosine, you use this side instead. So you use b in, uh, in the place of a, and it's just the same old thing, and yeah, just do the calculations there, and you should get b equals 3.09, and yeah, 3sf always. Okay, so now I'll let you think a bit. Trigonometry functions, as we know, only uh, currently work with right angle triangles. But what about this triangle? We can't do anything about it with normal trigonometry because there aren't a right angle. But what if there is? So what do we do? Note uh, this uh, shape. I will put it this way. And I have um, edited the triangle and made it this way. So now we have two right angle triangle. Remember, every triangle uh, can be, well, most triangle can be made into different triangles and they will be right angle triangles. So what you need to do now is to find this um, line. Um, let's label it the red line. Is that fine? Yeah, I guess you can see what that is about. So what's red line? Well, we know these two clues. Um, to find a thing using trigonometry, you must have two clues. Either two sides for an angle, or an angle and a side to find the other two sides. So now we can find the opposite by using sine because we have hypotenuse and opposite. So what you do is 8 times sine 30 um, rearranged conveniently or quickly by me and you will get 4. So the red line is 4. Um, okay, so red is 4. Now we have two lines and an unknown angle. What do we do then? Well, same deal. Because sine is equal to 4 over 5, we can do the arc sine function and get 53.1. So that is how you solve uh, non-right angle triangles. 
sometimes it's difficult to remember uh, these uh, notations and I will be perfectly honest I really don't like to remember things and so I've found a quite easy way to think about Sokatoa what we can do is to uh, um, to give sign using the S opposite because every sign contains an opposite every cosine contains an adjacent and well every tangent doesn't contain hypotenuse this is the only thing you have to uh, really remember about it's no the the keywords here and always use topposite which means opposite always stays on top of the fraction and high bottomness it always goes bottom hope that's self self-explanatory and so adjacent can go either place so and also remember that sine and cosine always have hypotenuse with it and that's about it that's how I remember these uh, functions and it worked out well so I hope that helps so yeah let's do some questions so here are four cre um, four questions uniquely created by me and I'm quite proud of them really because these are going to require you to think of how you should do it and yeah notes areas um, these are the tricky ones so yeah I will see you with the answer in five four three two one see trigonometry it's not difficult um, they aren't really that challenging is it so what you need to do is just um, for the area questions which is the bottom two you just need to um, do the area equation which is base times height divided by two or uh, for the parallelogram one you do base times height equals the area and you should get the height and when you get the height you should get the triangle either on the side of the parallelogram or um, well for the triangle a triangle so yeah that will solve the two um, theta's so these are the five answers to the four questions and I think that's the end so if you've learned something please leave me a like and share it with your friends to share the knowledge and yeah I'll see you next time